Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 pieces of life advice from billionaires. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. With business skills, clever investments, and hopes of making a meaningful effect on the world, the world's wealthiest people ascended to the top of the financial food chain. With 10 inspiring insights from billionaires like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, you'll learn how to get rich and how to stay rich. 10. Bill Gates, Focus on Development Bill Gates, the creator of Microsoft, has earned a reputation as not only the world's wealthiest man, but also one of the sharpest and most serious thinkers alive today. As a result, it should come as no surprise that Gates got to where he is by focusing on development and invention rather than a business. You know, development is sometimes perceived as a project in which you give people things and nothing much happens, which is accurate, but if you focus on that, you'd also have to say that venture capital is pretty foolish too, Gates told Rolling Stone in 2014. It has a dismal hit rate. But now and then, you hit pay dirt and you fund a Google or something. 9. Mark Zuckerberg, Think Like a Hacker Mark Zuckerberg was a student at Harvard when he launched Facebook in 2004 at the age of 19. He's become one of the world's wealthiest and most successful persons since then. Zuckerberg credits his success to a willingness to take chances and a desire to develop something that has the potential to transform the world. Furthermore, he adheres to a business philosophy known as the Hacker Way. The Hacker Way is an approach to developing those entails continual improvement and iteration, he wrote in a 2012 letter to possible Facebook investors. Hackers think that nothing is ever perfect and that everything can always be better. 8. Larry Ellison, Be Aggressive with Acquisitions Larry Ellison began his career as a database developer for the CIA before creating Oracle, a database software business, in 1977. Over time, Ellison has evolved from someone who disliked growth acquisitions to someone who benefits from them. Oracle was able to grow into a $187.6 billion behemoth because of Ellison's open-minded acquisition philosophy, which saw the company buy successful startups like PeopleSoft, Eloqua, and Siebel. Furthermore, Ellison has emphasized the significance of having cash on hand for the next major deal. We spend our money for several things, he said in a meeting with Wall Street analysts. We repurchase stock and pay dividends. We haven't made any significant acquisitions in a long time. Do you know what I mean? We're putting our nickels and dimes aside. One of these days, we might accomplish something intriguing. 7. Michael Bloomberg, Never Stop Learning Michael Bloomberg, the former mayor of New York City, began his journey to billion-dollar success with a career at Salomon Brothers, where he rose through the ranks to become a partner in 1972. After leaving Salomon, he started his own business, which later became Bloomberg LP, before running for mayor of New York City in 2002. The key to success, according to Bloomberg, is continuously learning new things every day. I've never met a Nobel Prize laureate who didn't think they had an awful lot more to learn and wasn't studying every single day," he stated on a 2013 episode of his weekly radio show. As a result, when a parent asks, how much more must my child learn before they may stop studying? I'm not sure how to break it to you, lady or gentleman, because there is no answer to it. 6. Charles Koch, Follow a Proven Management Style Charles Koch inherited his father's company, Koch Industries, and developed it into one of the largest companies in the United States. He is one half of the famously wealthy and politically important Koch brothers. Jet fuel, fertilizer, toilet paper, and Dixie cups are just a few of Koch Industries' many goods. Koch owes his company's long-term financial success to the adoption of market-based management, a name he has even trademarked. Market-based management, MBM, helps firms to succeed in the long run by following the concepts that allow free societies to prosper, according to the Charles Koch Institute. Maintaining values such as free speech, property rights, and progress is crucial in building a healthy, developing society, and they are equally important in fostering a healthy, expanding company. 5. Bernard Arnault, Stay Ahead of the Competition Bernard Arnault is the CEO of LVMH, the luxury goods conglomerate that encompasses Bulgari, Louis Vuitton, Sephora, and Dom Perignon, among other brands. 
Arnault's wealth is related to his Dior stock, which provides him a controlling position in LVMH, and he invested $15 million in 1984 to buy a corporation that included Christian Dior. Arnault credits his continuous financial prowess to a determination to outperform the competition, which he has done on a worldwide scale. Arnault recently staked a claim in Asia as part of his quest to offer high couture to the developing world. I am quite competitive, he stated in an interview with Forbes. I want to stay ahead of the game and accelerate our progress. 4. Carlos Slim Hello, Learn From Failure Carlos Slim Hell, a Mexican billionaire, made his fortune through acquiring stakes in hundreds of firms, including major stakes in many that he owns. Slim owns shares in several Mexican corporations, as well as American companies like Saks Fifth Avenue and The New York Times, through Grupo Carso. Slim, who was ranked number two on Forbes' list of billionaires in 2015, fell to number four in 2016 as his pan-Latin American mobile phone company lost money owing to stricter restrictions, a lower peso, and a general economic downturn in the region. The billionaire, on the other hand, is likely to follow his advice and confront his financial problems head-on. Slim gave his audience some sound advice in a 2010 address at the American University of Beirut, when we face our difficulties, they vanish. So, learn from your mistakes and let success be your silent motivator. 3. Ray Dalio, Continue to Educate Yourself When we're good at something, it's easy to forget that we need to keep learning. You've taken good care of your finances and are now able to retire comfortably, it's natural to think you've got a better handle on your investments than the average person. However, as you make new investment decisions, you should approach each one with the same eagerness as if you were a novice, seeking the information as if you had no idea what you were doing. In his book Principles, Ray Dalio, the billionaire founder of Bridgewater Associates, recounts taking ski lessons from an instructor who had previously taught Michael Jordan the same skill. Jordan, despite already being a champion basketball player, enjoyed the process of making mistakes as he learned a new skill, according to the instructor. Similarly, investors should always be on the lookout for areas of weakness and treat them as growth opportunities. Perhaps you're a traditional investor with little experience with cryptocurrencies, or you'd like to learn more about long-term investments. This tip does not imply that you must follow through and invest in these assets, rather, it emphasizes the importance of constantly seeking out new ideas and cultivating a learner's mindset through exploration. 2. Michael Dell, Align Your Investment Goals With Your Values Consider what you wanted from life when you were first starting as you develop your goals beyond retirement. Did you aspire to be a successful author, philanthropist, artist, scientist, or inventor? What would you have studied if money had not been an issue? These are the ideas you should think about not only when planning your retirement, but also when making investment decisions. Although the wealthy may never have to worry about funding their retirement lifestyle, they still have strict goals and aspirations, which you should have as well. Michael Dell, the billionaire founder and CEO of Dell Technologies, exemplifies how even those whose jobs occupy a significant portion of their lives can find fulfillment outside of work. Dell is a committed philanthropist who takes an active role in a variety of causes. He and his wife, Susan, are the founders of the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation, which aims to improve education, health care, and economic stability for children living in urban poverty. He is also a member of the World Economic Forum's Board of Directors and is actively involved in community causes in his home state of Texas. Dell is an excellent role model for soon-to-be retirees who are considering their post-career goals. You can ensure that you don't lose your sense of purpose once you reach your retirement goal by investing in things that have more meaning than their monetary value. 1. Eli Broad, Consider Your Legacy No matter how close to retirement you are, you should have an estate plan. Once you've written it, it's equally important to revisit it as you get older to make sure it still reflects your priorities. If you haven't updated your will since you had small children, you should do so now to reflect your current wishes. Estate plans for younger people who are just starting and building their families usually include emergency action plans. Your estate plan should change as you approach retirement age to reflect the type of legacy you want to leave behind. What type of long-term influence do you wish to have, 
other than providing for any children or grandkids you may have. What would you like to be remembered for? Civilizations are not remembered by their business people, their bankers, or their lawyers, says Eli Broad, a billionaire philanthropist. The artists will remember them. Individuals are not exempt from this sentiment. People will remember you for what you accomplished with these things, not for how strong your money portfolio is or how great your business skills are. Remember that financial security isn't the goal it's the means to achieving your goals as you recalibrate your personal and financial goals for your golden years. Though you must first fund your retirement before you can enjoy it, it's critical not to lose sight of the passions and interests that make you feel truly fulfilled. The goal of retirement planning is to allow you to create and pursue new opportunities while knowing you have the financial security to do so. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.